video is going to be a fairly short one, and it's just about the direction of stems. Now, in previous videos, we've kind of touched on stems, um, in that we said that it doesn't affect um, the, the duration of a note, which way the stem goes. The stems also don't affect what the actual pitch of the note is. Um, the only reason why we would have a stem one way or another is just to indicate, it's, it's, it's just to fit things more neatly onto the page. Like, like in the last video where we discussed um, the, uh, ledger lines and that if you change clefs you can avoid using too many ledger lines which just makes things easier to fit in. The same kind of idea goes to stems. So, if you have a note here, which is of course a B in the treble clef, you can have a stem going down like that, or a stem going up like that, and these two notes would be exactly the same. Um, when you do uh, notes with beams like that, um, it would work exactly the same. Now, this, this would completely be unaffected whether that was in, in, in treble clef or bass clef or whatever clef you wanted to use. Um, and then the simple rule goes that as you move above that, um, you'll have your steps going down, and as you go below that, the steps go up. So again, you can, you can do that with any kind of note and get the same effect. Um, going up and going down. So if you have a note up here, the stem will go down. If you have a note down here, the stem will go up. So that's fairly straightforward. The only catch, um, and sorry, this, this line here in the middle, that's where the, where the breaking point is. The only catch to all of this is when you have notes with beams, and you have a lot of notes with beams. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so let's say you have something like this. Now, half the notes are below and half the notes are above. So this, you, you could beam either way. You can beam it that way, or you could beam it below as well. So, um, Stems can also be used sometimes to indicate voicing, but for general theoretical purposes um, that falls outside of what one really needs to know. Um, but, I mean, basically, if you have two voices, one voice that goes like that, that, and that, and you have another voice that does a counter motion like that, um, you can either stem them all together or you can be creative with the way you use your stems. You can just you can draw all that and put the ones that go up, that the stems go up to show that voice over there, um, over there, and then have this go through here. But this, this would be more of a compositional decision because uh, one can see that, that this, this can be visually a little bit confusing if you do it that way. And usually for theoretical purposes you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't do it that, that way in, in, normal, in normal circumstances. And that is basically all you need to know about stem direction.